I want to share with you today a really simple idea, well phrase really, that sparks an idea that was shared in a webinar that we ran this week and I just thought it was a really lovely concept that you could easily weave into your practice. So Paul Hodgkinson, the Executive Principal at the Bolton Impact Trust, ran a session for us about how we can adapt our provision in mainstream to meet the kind of uh, rising profile of needs, the more challenging needs that our learners are presenting with. And he shared loads of great ideas, but one thing Thing he talked about was ensuring that children were first bell ready and this was an idea that really really resonated with me so he shared this particular example of a young lad who was coming into school and he had been being bullied when he was in mainstream and, and this was how he'd ended up in the pupil referral unit um, and he'd been being bullied because he smelt of wee um, he had an issue with bedwetting as did his parents this was an ongoing thing um, and he would come into school with clothes that did not smell good um, and he was bullied for that reason and so the simplest thing that they were able to do to support this young lad to make sure that the bullying didn't continue and to help him feel better about himself was to get him first belt ready so for them this was about letting him go and use the shower block leaving out some clean uniform that he could change into so that when that first bell went he was ready to engage, ready to thrive within his educational setting without that barrier that had been causing um, some of the significant issues he was facing before. Now, this idea of first bell ready, <coughs> This idea of first bell ready could mean a variety of different things depending on the children and young people in your care but this is about children who might be arriving at your setting actually not ready to learn that might be because they're hungry that might be because they are distressed it might be that they don't have the right clothes on it might be for all host of different reasons and i'm sure that you've got different ideas that come to mind so the question i put to you is that for some of your more vulnerable children those children who might be struggling to engage or who might be facing some challenges at school and not hitting the ground running when they arrive what could you do what simple steps could you take as a setting to enable that child to be first bell ready really simple question but hugely hugely impact for the children that you might apply it to I hope it's helpful and thank you massively to Paul whose phrase it is and who shared loads of great stuff. I'll put a link to the webinar that Paul ran for us um, down below and you'll be able to access that uh, for free either. Sometimes it's just completely freely available and sometimes using a free trial um, or if you're a member of our site uh, you can access it that way. Um, but basically if you want to watch it you absolutely can. He was fantastic. I hope that you're all well. Sorry I've been a bit more sporadic in my video post there's a lot going on for us right now. We're currently trying to relocate ourselves as a family um, and my children start year seven in a different town. So that's big school for those of you who might not be in the UK. We're moving towns, um, moving schools for the children. Just found out that their moving up day is cancelled and our house purchase has fallen through. Other than that, it's all going just fine. Right, see you again soon. Bye.